Hey again, my dear friends. Today, let's start the lesson two Chinese top ten famous tea. You may wonder, we are going to learn pour tea. Why other types of tea? See, by reviewing those teas and learning different process and methods, we are going to understand pour tea better way in near future. What's more, during the course of In the course of the Chinese Tea Art Junior course, we haven't compare studying those、uh, teas from different types together. So this would be an opportunity to、um, learn them together, to compare them, to understand what makes the differences exactly. Okay, so let's begin. In China. Mm, we have so many great teas, and、uh, there are more than ten, of course. However, here, yes, maybe listed only ten for your reference.、Um, we have different opinions about the top ten famous tea, but we all agree that the top one for sure deserves Xihu Dragon Well, Xihu Longjing. Hmm, that. Is the top famous tea in China, Xihu Rongjing.、Mm-hmm. You know the tea, right? Yes. Xihu Rongjing is the、um, geographic products in China. This is already amazing. Yeah, compared to wine, like in France, the wine Appellation Deutsch Portage、uh, or LC, LPOA LC, which are great to guarantee gar- the、uh, arranging the. Um, wine grape species and the、uh, farming, the viticulture, the um, um, processing, even the aging storage, everything. Yes, but in China, yes, the tea industry is still like growing. So about the standards or some regulation rule are better and better. So. Uh, indication such geographic indication product is already a big step.、Mm-hmm. So, Xihu、uh, Rongjing, yes, should originate only in where? Yes, Shifeng Mountain, Rongjing, Hangzhou City.、Mm-hmm. That means that means that this tea can only be growing and processed in Shifeng Mountain. Longjing village, otherwise cannot be called the name.、Mm. So of course, in other regions like the nearby, there are also some very good teas which is processed as such flight shaped,、mm. flight shaped. Um, we can call them Longjing, but not Xihu Longjing. Okay. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. And. Look at this picture. It's so beautiful, like a beautiful lady dressed very elegantly and with very light body,、mm-hmm. with such sunshine tanned skin and very nice smooth skin and very beautiful body. Ah,、uh, so there are f- the Longjing has four virtues, which are green color. Mm, actually, it's the bright green, like the rice field, and it also has a high and pleasant aroma.、Mm, um, especially this typical、uh, green bean and the chestnut and some、um, unknown flowery aromas. Yes, very pleasant.、Mm-hmm. And the taste is quite mellow because. Longjing tea are quite Longjing tea's leaves are quite tender, which gives very little、um, bitterness.、Mm. Yes, so it ends with very nice, like mellow sweetness.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So there's a thing, famous thing. You know, in Longjing, there's another、um, very famous, like the fountain, Hu Pao Fountain. There is a famous saying that by using the Longjing fountain water to blue 
龙井 tea. Sorry, 虎泡 fountain water to blue 龙井 tea. That's like the best pairing. Ah,、oh, but stupidity. So far, I haven't done. I have. I haven't like drinking ah、uh, 龙井 tea by using the 虎泡 fountain water. Hopefully, next time, look at this picture. That is the pic. That is the 龙井 tea in the glass. Like a beautiful lady, like a beautiful lady is dancing, or some those dancers, um, they were dancing in the, um, in the stage very、uh, vividly, right? Do you agree? Yes, yes. That's why Long Jin Tea is so beautiful. Of course, there are many reasons. First, the tea is very good. The tea is very good. Um, another reason is that yes. Because ah,、uh, Longjing tea is like um named by who? Qianlong Emperor. Qianlong Emperor. So if you visit this village, you are still able to ah、uh, see the eighteen lawyer tea trees. The eighteen lawyer trees. There was a legendary story like ah、uh, Qianlong Emperor. He visited the local place. He saw those ladies were picking the、uh, tea leaves. So he also went to join them. And then later on, he was told that the、uh, his mother was sick. Yes. So he had to、um, go back to the palace. Well, well. His mother just ate something wrong.、Uh, but when his mother saw him, his mother like got got. Recovered and already、uh, was 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 okay. But when he sorry when she saw him, yes, she feels very happy. She felt very happy. Also, she smelled something ah、oh, very ar- aromatic. So he、um, told her、uh, his mother that hmm yes, it might be the leaves. So he got out. He got out the tea leaves from his sleeves, which he put those leaves in his like sleeves、uh, accidentally. Yeah. After his mother drank the tea, wow, she is totally revived, <laughs> refreshed,、mm, and cheerful again. Yes. So, uh. Qianlong Emperor was very、um, grateful for those teas. He especially named those teas. Yes, the lawyer tea trees. Since on those teas, of course, gained their famous, their reputation, and uh, uh, became very popular even now. Now you can see、uh, also from. On、uh, those tea trees, you can see they are bush. Bush. Are you ready for the small leaf tea species? Yes, they are bush. Okay, they are bush. Where here in Yunnan,、um, most of those trees are upper tree, which means that they can grow like a tree. They can grow like a tree.、Mm-hmm. Um. Well, in other provinces, like in Jiangsu, Zhejiang. Hmm, Jiangxi, Anhui, those provinces, like those trees, those trees are small leaf tea species, uh, or small leaf varieties, which um, which can grow like the bush shaped, mm-hmm, like the picture, uh, um, like the picture you you see now. Yes, yes. <laughs> Guess who he is? Lu Yu, of course. So. Which is the second one?、Mm, of course, another one. Bi Luo Chun, Bi Luo Chun, Long Jing, yeah, green tea. Bi Luo Chun is green tea too. Is green tea too?、Um, by knowing the name Dong Ting Bi Luo Chun, we know that Dong Ting Bi Luo Chun originates in Dong Ting Shan, Jiangsu Shan, Tai Hu Tai Lake, Dong Ting Mountain.、Mm. It's A historic tea, which can be dated back to a、uh, thousand years ago. Thousand years ago, because in in that area, which is ideal for for 
like producing for growing such present high-end green tea.、Mm-hmm. That's why Bi Luo Chun, yes, green snail, green snail spring. <laughs> It's so good. It's quite a、uh, tight TP curve shaped like the green snail. That's why it's called Green Snail Spring.、Mm-hmm. Why? Well, it's about another emperor, uh, Qianxi Emperor, uh, Kangxi Emperor, who was the grandfather of、uh, Qianlong Emperor. So he liked to visit the、uh, Jianghu as well. So one day he、uh, went to the tea. Tea shop. He liked this tea very much. But at that time, Bi Luo Chun、uh, had a very scary name in Chinese called Xia Sha Ren Xiang, means scary, uh, aro- aromatic, um, tea, something like that. Yes. And、uh, so, uh, Kangxi Emperor thought about that. Hmm, such a beautiful name could. Should have a very、um, nice name as well. So、um, he thought about that again. Yes, such tea、uh, is tight and curved and、um, in such beautiful green color. So later on, he named this tea Bi Luo Chun. Bi Luo Chun. Yes. Yes, since then, imagine this tea even for just half kilo. You know, in China, we still don't use kg, um, kilogram. We use jin means five hundred, uh, five hundred gram. So even for jin, 半斤 half a kilogram, there is around sixty-five thousand pieces of those buds. That makes the tea very expensive. And、uh, hopefully, great as well. <laughs> of course, of course. Look this picture. Look the tea in the、uh, glass looks like the wonderful clouds. Hmm. Hmm. That's why. That's why Bi Luo Chun is so famous as well. It's so famous as well. Hmm. Then we see Huang San Mao Feng. Huang San Mao Feng, which is green tea too, which is green tea too. See, um,、uh, we are going to learn more green tea,、uh, which are the top ten famous tea as well. Uh, so you can see so far we we know that why we need to review those teas because even currently poor tea is very popular, but in China the majority is still green tea, still green tea. Okay. So Huang San Mao Feng. Um, by recognizing the name, we know that this tea originates in Huangshan, Anhui Province. Uh, Anhui Province. So, uh, such tea is also called Hui Cha. Hui is a short name for Anhui. Where is Huangshan? Huangshan is a very beautiful landscape. Um, my 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 friend who is a famous. French photographer. He goes there very often. Wow, those pictures are amazing. Just like the paradise, paradise is so beautiful.、Mm-hmm. So such pleasant place, of course, can produce high-end, refined green tea.、Mm. What's more, beside beside the、um, ideal environment, of course, there、uh, needs. Some like the very special, spe- special tea species, which are Huangshan variety and Huangshan Latin variety.、Mm. Those teas are only picked. Those leaves are only picked during Qingming Festival and Guyu Festival. Yes, Guyu Festival.、Mm. They always pick such tea at the right time, which makes the right tea. Okay, okay. So.、Mm. Slightly, such tea is slightly curved, like the bird tongue. Bird tongue, imagine bird tongue has, um,、uh, has tongue. Uh, the bird tongue, like, um, when the bird, when the bird open its mouth. Yes, we can 
We can see the tongue and the two lips. See, so that indicates that the majority, the popular breed of Huangshan Mao Feng, are um what are like two lips with one butt. Two lips with one butt sometimes can be one butt with one lip. Yes,、mm -hmm. and、uh, they are popular. Huangshan Mao Feng comes when say, uh, the small leaf, golden small leaf. We in Chinese we call it yu ye, yu ye, <laughs> literally means fish leaf, fish leaf. Why? Because in the early spring, the um, the the temperature is quite low, so uh, those leaves could not grow maturely, uh, uh normally, uh. Normally size, so even those those leaves those leaves are mature leaves, but they are quite small. We call those leaves a、uh, fish leaf, fish leaf. Yes, by making such tea, you can see it's like some foggy, foggy morning as well. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Yes, it also has such、um, pleasant orchard aroma. Yeah. You can see, yes, this part, this part, this one, and this one is, uh, like such leaf is fish leaf, fish leaf, yeah. Hmm. So so far we learned three types of green tea. How about Junshan Silver Lido? Junshan Silver Lido, yes. Junshan Silver Lido is yellow tea. Is yellow tea. Um, such name is the. Commercial name, which was named, which was named、uh, in modern time. However, Junshan tea, I mean the tea from this island,、uh, can be dated back in Tang Dynasty. Tang Dynasty, and such tea was attributed in Qing Dynasty as well. In China, which means that yes, it's great. It's great. So,、uh, if you look at the picture, you can see that such tea is like、um, a little bit like golden wish、uh, color, and but inside is still green. So,、uh, it has some other name like gold coated jade, gold coated jade.、Mm -hmm. In Tang Dynasty, this tea was called yellow feather as well. Yellow feather as well because it's quite tippy. It's very hairy, so、um, that gives that impresses us like the yellow feather, yellow feather, right? Right? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Uh, where is this island? Please pay attention to Dongting Lake and Dongting Mountain. Biluochun is produced in Jiangsu Shan. Yes, that's. Dongting, Dongting Mountain, but several little is produced in Hunan Province. That's Dongting Lake, Dongting Lake. Yeah, on Junshan Island. Um, yes, on Junshan Island. I mean, Junshan Island is surrounded by the Dongting Lake. Okay. Uh, such tea can be only picked and processed within seven to ten days around the Qingming Festival. Around the Qingming Festival, um,、mm, Qingming Fe Tomb Sweeping Festival. So that can be earlier than, uh, than like other green tea as well. Other green, famous green tea. Yes. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Such tea is so good, so good. So in two thousand six, in two thousand six. The um, Junshan Silver Lido was was sent to President Put Put Putin、mm -hmm, as the national gift. Yes, of course. I love it. It has very typical uh, those those sounds like a pine pine aroma, but pleasant pine aroma, some flowery and a sweet honey aroma. Mm, uh, it's less bitter. It's less bitter because of yellow, yellow part, yellow step. Okay. So so far we learned four famous tea. Hmm. Uh, the first three are green tea and yellow tea. What's the differences? What's the differences? 
like I told you at the beginning, the process method result in the quality. Okay, so green tea is process, and the main process of green tea are plucking. Yeah, plucking. Then we are uh, uh, killing green, which is fixation as uh, another name. Yeah, we can call such step either by uh, either like killing green or fixation. Then after that, we would. Uh, Rolling them, rolling them, rolling them. Yes, after that, dry them. So, um, so there's very neat oxidation. While why ginseng silver leader looks like golden wish because after rolling before drying for a uh, yellow tea, there been through a step called yellow part, yellow step, which. Gives the tea a little bit oxidized. Okay, that gives the tea some special, some special flavors. Mm -hmm. There, there has either there has either wet solemnization or I mean the mechanical, the chemical mechanism is either wet and uh, solemnization or dry solemnization. About like about. The details we have the tea. I mean, we have the course. You can watch on Udemy, or um, if you're in China, you can watch it on our Tenshin Tenshin Tata. Yes. So there are all the details there. There are all details there. Yes. Mm. Look, this is how those teas, those tea leaves look like in the glass. Very beautiful, like the um. Like some soldiers, like some soldiers standing right, like in the such、um, glass.、Mm, amazing. And the next one is Xinyang Mao Jian.、Mm? Green tea. Yes, it's green tea again. It's green tea again. By seeing the name. We know that Xinyang Mao Jian originates in Xinyang, Xinyang, Xinyang City, Henan Province, which is quite north. Yes, I usually are、uh, in somewhere cold. It's not good, pleasant for growing tea. Well, I guess because that place, that place in Xinyang is is still good. It's still ideal. Uh, climate for growing green tea. Green tea. So, uh, such tea is famous in Ming Dynasty. That's in early 20th century. Xinyang Mao Jian is tippy, as you can see. It's tippy and sweet. Uh, it has rich aroma, elegant sweetness because they are almost like buds or very tender leaves. Very tender leaves. Such tea is gained, is reputed. Yes, win the gold medal. Yeah, <laughs> in nineteen、um, in nineteen fifties, Panama Pacific International Exposition. So you can see why Xinyang Mao Jian is so good.、Mm, because long time ago, it it already. Gained its name. It's already like famous due to its high quality, due to its greatness.、Mm. Okay. So, ah,、uh, the and the other green tea is Lu An Gua Pian. Lu An Gua Pian. Pay attention to the name. Even Chinese, some Chinese they may they may not know the correct pronunciation. Pian. Because this character is new, six new. However, when we see its name, its location, its place,、uh, we should say Lu An Gua Pian. Lu An Gua Pian. Yes, Lu An Gua Pian. Lu An Gua Pian is originated from Da Bi Mountain in Lu An City, Anhui Province. This tea, if you see those leaves, is very special. They only pick, they only pick the leaf, the mature, the tender mature leaf, without any stem, 
or any stock. See, and now no, there's no any there. There is not any. There is not any stem or stock. Hmm, low way. Even there is no buds. Okay. So after being processed, those leaves look like melon, sunflower melon. What? That's why um, such tea is called gua pian. Gua pian. Yes. Um, Luan gua pian. Luan gua pian. Was attributed both in the Ming Dynasty and the Qing Dynasty.、Um, it's one of the favorite that Jiangmu grand grandmother grandma Jia、uh, liked. In the famous book Dream of Red Maison, Mad, <laughs> sorry about my French.、Uh, the Dream of the Red Mansions. Mm -hmm. That's one of the four famous novels in China. Yes, like in this book, there introduces many famous and great teas. One of them is Lu An Gua Pian. Lu An Gua Pian. Okay, so so far we learned uh five five ta five um kinds of green tea. Yes, so same steps. Are planking, curing green, then rolling, uh, and uh, shaping and drying, right? So, but why they they are different? So they also can like green tea can be divided into four kinds of、uh, green tea: sun dried, yes, sun dried green tea, baked green tea, pan fried green tea, and uh, as um. Steamed green tea, steamed green tea, like、uh, pan fried green tea should be should be kale greened, should be fixated by the pan or some machine, then dried by the pan or machine again. While for um for the for the like sun dried green tea, yes, the drying process is is done by what? By sunny, by sunshine, by sunshine,、um, and the steamed green tea,、uh, regarding the process of fixation, that's done by the steam. Hmm, that's done by the steam. But all those mechanisms are the same. They just use different, like different、uh, methods, methods to finish the、um, fixation or the drying process. Hmm. That's why some tea can be quite tippy, some tea can, can be quite loose, some tea can be quite like on、uh, pad, some tea can be curved, some tea can smell like some chestnut, some green tea can be um、uh, can be very like um uh like green greenish greenish yes because of those reason because of those reason. Yes. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Um. If you really want to all the details, you can watch my previous lesson courses. We have the Vivid Chinese Tea Art Micro Course, which can give you very detailed information. Hmm.、Mm. We also have the Chinese Tea Art Junior Course, which have one lesson, forty minutes, to introduce about all the um all the like uh introductions about. Quality for beginners or middle or middle、uh, tea lovers should know. Okay, yes, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> yeah, that's how those leaves look like in the glass. And what silver needle? What silver needle? Yeah, that's what it. That's what it. But pay attention to the um, Anji Bai Cha. Anji Bai Cha literally means Anji Wat Tea, but it's not Wat Tea. It's green tea, okay? It's green tea.、Mm -hmm. Anji Bai Cha is green tea. Yes, because we use the green tea's processing to make to produce green tea,、uh, Anji Bai Cha. So it's green tea. 
just because the color of antibiotic looks quite light, bright, light, bright, very bright green, which、um, impresses、uh, others that it's white tea. Well, it's green tea. It's green tea. It also has the green tea's flavor and taste.、Mm. What several little originates in、um, originates in Fuding He and Zheng He. Fuding He Zheng He. It was invented in 1889. Many growing at Fuding County and Zheng He County. Yes, where was the origin of the of modern white tea? Because I personally think that white tea. Was the、uh, was the first like the the initial to hear Yunnan people to try or where the、uh, ancient people they processed they made because imagine when they didn't know how to make the tea properly they wanted to store them so in that case they just pick the leaves and dry them by the sun、mm-hmm. yes that's the Initial. That's the initial tea, which、um, later on they polish the processing and finally they made the white tea. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes.、Mm. White tea. White tea. White tea. Little. Ah,、uh, is quite. Yeah. Quite fat, sweet, and strong stout, which has、uh, lots of those hairs. Give the tea.、Um, Very rich umami aroma, sweet aroma, hairy aroma. Yes, and、uh, um, it like silver little tastes very sweet but light. Hmm, this sweetness is elegant compared to what you hear in Yunnan. What in Fujian is elegantly sweet, while uh, what more than what you hear in in Yunnan. For me, I personally think it's very like welcomed, very hot.、Mm. Like some lady who is beautiful but elegantly, but some lady they are、um, beautiful. Well, in other way, very hot, very sexy, very charming. Yes, that's the difference. That's the difference.、Mm. Yeah, this is how it look like. How it look like? So, what it has the least processing step, just being like a、uh, wizard, either by the sun or window or both. Then,、uh, after the water, after the water content it drops to thirty percent lower, lower than thirty percent. Yes, they dry them. They dry, dry them,、uh, and、uh, then later on they would use the 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 the, the stove, the the traditional stove, to dry them mildly, which gives the tea very vivid but subtle、um, taste. Yes, oolong cha, for sure. <laughs> I know over in overseas, oolong tea is very famous. It's very famous as well. In China, people they like love、uh, oolong tea too. Like tea guan yin is very aromatic, while rak tea is very special. Has such、uh, taste. Like we have a special name called such flavor, rak rizum, rak rizum. Yes, rak rizum. Mm-hmm. Um, among all the rock teas, Da Hong Pao Big Red Rope is the top one. Such top one, such top famous, top quality、um, rock tea can be only growing in the nuclear nuclear region of Wuyi Mountain, a Wuyi Mountain, which gives the tea. Very special, flowery and fruity aroma. Also, such tea has some like woody, ah,、uh, woody or cinnamon, or the some amber. Um, uh, also some like this a little bit smoky and some mineral or、um, flavors. Yes, 
uh, very pleasant and complex. Mm. That's the unique rock reason. If you have ever tried the real authentic rock man, rock oolong, yes, you know what it look like. What it look like? Of course, oolong tea, like rock oolong, is very um, complicated. Mm. You may hear of the top famous one, Ming Chong in Chinese, Zheng Yan. Zheng Yan, authentic rock oolong. Mm. Ban Yan means semi authentic, uh, and Zhou Yan, yes, like just very normal um, rock oolong, or Wai San Yan, some rock oolong which is produced outside of Wuyi Mountain. So, uh, if you want to understand all the details, again, please, you can uh, um, attend my course, previous course, which is available online as well, the Chinese tea art. Micro course chapter five or the China chart junior course. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some legendary story between President Li Song and the Chairman Mao. Yes, about the mother tree, uh, Rakuro, mother to the Rakuro, uh, which is very precious, which is very precious. Yes, so. It was said when uh, President Nixon visited China firstly, Chairman Mao gave them gave him just 400 gram of the tea. Well, you know, the whole like the the, the such uh, in now if you visit Wei Mountain there, you can still to see those mother trees. Mm. Mother trees, which is under protection now, yes, under protection now. In history, such trees can only produce 800 grams of uh, rock oolong. So, so when Li Song president visited China, Chairman Mao shared 400. At the beginning, President uh, Li Song thought that, hmm. Chairman Mao was so mean, you only gave me 400 gram? Then Prime Minister Zhou Enlai, he saw what happening. He was, um, he was like wondering what's the reason, but of course he knew that. So he went for ahead and told President Nixon that, see, we only produce 800, but Chairman Mao already shared you half. Which means that would indicate that we have very strong, uh, strong um, partnership. Yes, mm. he wanted to share with you the half country. Well, so that gives another reason, gives another plus for the strong like relationship between China and. America at that time, yes. Mm -hmm. so that's the top famous tea in the north, but in the south, in the south, mm, there is another famous tea that Ti Guanyin. Ti Guanyin is such bead shaped tea, which is very heavy, uh, very heavy, has such like frog, frogs. Frog skin uh, color and this tea, yeah, tea guan yin is very aromatic, um, very aromatic, uh, flowery and some fruity, but different, different way, different way. That's why before there are few, there are some, there were some time people they put the auditor inside to to uh, make fake tea, fake tea guan yin. Mm, once. That's the big problem. The pe pesticide and the additive were the biggest problem before. But later on, of course, the government they wanted to protect their tea, so they took some strategies. They took some policies to promote the quality of uh, tea guan yin, which gives the tea guan yin like better quality now again. Yes, yes. Um, regarding oolong tea, yes, the key, the important process is what is the shaking, shaking, um, shaking, um, withering. Yes, mm. zuo qing, zuo qing, either by putting them in the basket and uh, then in the basket to to shake them, or either 
either do that by hands, yes, by hands, um, which gives the tea very unique, yes, unique flavor. Because during the shaking process, those leaves, those leaves get oxidized, oxidized. Um, that gives the tea like mellow and soft tea taste, while also gives the tea very very unique flavor very unique flavor yes what's my previous lesson you learn all the details there mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so what's the next what's the next hmm? of course black tea we've learned green tea yellow tea white tea oolong tea yes black tea black tea mm. although like um Yunnan's black tea it's good as well. However, um, before Yunnan's black tea, because Yunnan's black tea was invented in uh, 1939, 1938, 1939, yes. So, before that, um, like, okay, again, <laughs> where is the origin of black tea? Wuyi Mountain, Tongmu Guan, Tongmu Pass, Wuyi Mountain, yes. Uh, yes, that's why the tea once, um, like in the West, especially before, the old name of black tea was called Bohe. Bohe. Bohe either means black tea or mean teas from Wuyi Mountain. So, or for someone, they also think that Bohe was the old name for all the Chinese tea because, um, first, firstly, those tea, the dirt people, they import the tea. Um, uh, from Wuyi Mountain, from the rock region, and the rock people, the quality Bohe, Bohe. So, Wuyi Mountain is a region of black tea. Mm. In 1875, a man called Hu Yuanlong, he went to learn the process and scale of black tea, and then um, promoted like invented their own way in Qimen, Qimen, Qimen County. So that made, that made the tea very famous. Yeah, he was very successful. Qimen tea um, is famous, is well known for its fruity and orchard like fragrance, mellow flavor, and it also has a beautiful body. Beautiful body. The color is bright, it's bright red, it's bright red. Mm, it has very sweet and um, pleasant, smooth body, body feeling. Yes, yes. You have to try that. You have to try it. The last one, of course, party. Party. I know, like I said, there are lots of great tea which can be listed in such top 10 famous tea. However, yes, poor tea, mm, there is low doubt, especially now, because poor tea is very popular. Um, Vina has a long history, however, poor tea was invented in the Ming Dynasty. Please remember, we are going to learn um, much, much more about poor tea later. Yes. And uh, what is poor tea? Yes, how you are going to introduce what is poor tea? Yes, poor tea re refers to the reprocessed tea with unique characteristics and aging potential, produced only from the sun dried Latin tea leaves and processed by a series of special technologies of either beam compressed and aged naturally that's for raw pour or piled and fermented that's for ripe pour when then the protection scope of the geographic indication in Yunnan parents <laughs> such a long such a long uh, introduction so to be simple Port is a kind of reprocessed tea, and it has the aging potential can be can become better when the aging years. Yes, and uh, poor tea is pros, pro, uh, is produced in only in Yunnan province, only in Yunnan province, 
uh, especially along the Langtang River side. Langtang River side, yes. Mm. And um, only the large nifty species, some uh, being used. Yes, even somewhere like those trees, uh, by by checking by lowing. I mean the 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 tea leaves. Mm. They are quite small. Um, well, uh, we we would generally still call them like large new tea species. Mm. Uh, all varieties, yes, and those materials must be sun dried, must be dried by the sunlight. Okay, and then we use those more materials either steam and compress. Uh, we use those those leaves, then compress them, steam them, compress them, then store them for some time uh, for aging. For aging, then they are done. Okay, someone I know, lots of farmers, they would sell you the current year tea, but actually it's unfinished products. You can say half finished products. The value of property is. Aging value is the aging value, which gives the tea much better taste and much better medicine functions. Yes, and uh, for ripe pour, that would be through the pan fermentation, which like shorten the age process, give the tea very different, very different taste, but still good, still great. Still great, okay. So that's the requirements. That's the definition about poverty. About poverty, we are going to have much to learn in next lessons. In next lessons. So, what else do you know about the famous tea? Yes,、mm. you can share with your friends, or you can um. You can like contact Mabel. Can share your story, tea story with Mabel. Okay. Yes. That's all for the lesson two.、Mm. If you think my course is interesting, practical, useful, please share it with friends. I hope that at such tough time, I know in uh now it's it's still quite tough time in your country, maybe in other countries. So. Stay strong. Stay together. Share the beautiful things with friends. We can, we can like get through this tough time together. Okay. This is Mabel. See you next lesson. Bye bye. Bye bye.